Hi, fabulous first graders. Our story today is A Bus Called Heaven by Bob Graham. And this bus here brought this group of people together who live in a neighborhood. And when people live in a neighborhood close together, it's called a community. Let's read this story to find out if heaven is a good name for this bus. A Bus Called Heaven. The bus brought change to Stella Street. Traffic slowed where no traffic had slowed before. People stopped and talked together, just a little, but they talked. Stella changed too. She took her thumb from her mouth, where it usually lived, and said, Mommy, that old bus is as sad as a whale on a beach. Then she pushed open the door and climbed on board. Stella, the color of moonlight, stood among the bottles, cans, and trash. She was so pale, you could almost see through her. It could be ours, she whispered. Whose? asked Nikki, Vicky, Alex, Yasmin, and Poe. What did she say? asked Mrs. Demetrios. Ours, she said louder. Well, whoever's it is, it needs to come off the road, said Stella's mom. And when Dad came home that afternoon, he found an old bus where the front yard used to be. The wheels stick, stick out onto the sidewalk, he said. There are sure to be regulations. Regulations as another word for rules. Well, it's staying here, said Stella. That's my regulation. Next morning, Stella looked out her front window. People were sitting on the wall where no one had sat before. Under the bus were Esther, Rajit, Chelsea, and Charles. Mommy, said Stella, I'm going out, and she joined them. That day, the bus settled in. Wheels nudged up around the tire, oh, weeds nudged up around the tires. Snails made silver trails, and a pair of sparrows nested in the old engine. While the children played, the grown-ups mopped and scrubbed and polished. That night, the bus got a bit of new paint. Hello, boys, said Mom. I've got an idea. Come back tomorrow, and you can paint the whole bus. Make it sparkle. Next morning, Stella drew a picture for the rats to copy. People came with donations. Donations are things you give away. Poppy brought the golden oh the go, Poppy brought her goldfish, Eric. Luke gave a set of super comics. Stella carried in her table soccer with the missing goalie. Mrs. Starvos brought a bus cake. And Lucy lent her dog Bear for anyone who needed to just sit and pat something. like they're playing all kinds of fun things on the bus. Life returned to the old bus. Stella's fingers fluttered and her soccer players spun. Babies crawled, people laughed, kids fought, granddad scratched dogs, meetings were planned, wanted to rent house for four, three cats, two dogs. Ring Ray, Lucy, where are you? Sunny, couples met. And the Fingals showed their vacation pictures. On one Saturday morning, just outside Stella's house, there was music and dancing. There were picnics and laughter when a tow truck arrived. Uh -oh. This is against regulation, said the driver. This bus is causing an obstruction. He means it sticks out, Stella's dad whispered. The bus has to go, said the driver. As the front wheels left the ground, snails dropped from under the bus and a twittering came from the old engine. Go where? 
gasped the crowd. Oh no. There goes the bus. To the junkyard came the reply. The crowd pleaded for their bus, but the junkyard boss came out to join the driver and shook his head. This one's for the crusher. A little pink glow crept across Stella's cheek. Three rescued snails were deep in her pocket. Excuse me, she said. Shall we play table soccer? You can have the only goalie, but if I win, we'll keep the bus. And why, asked the junkyard boss, tell me why should I play you for the bus? Because, replied Stella, there are sparrows nesting in the engine. The game began. Handles spun, the ball smacked end to end. Then, goal! Stella scored! She followed that with nine more and one. The boss put out his hand. Joe, he said. Stella, said Stella. They shook hands. Then Stella ran to the front of the bus. Come and see, she said. Chicks! Amid the frantic flapping of the parent sparrow's wings, Joe the junkyard boss spoke quietly. Better get your bus to somewhere safe, kid. Somewhere out of the way. Thank you, said Stella. And the crowd cheered. Yay! I know where we can take it, said Stella. While the others pushed, she and Mom sat up front to steer almost back to where they'd started from. And when the old bus came to rest at last, everyone else needed a rest too. Well, almost everyone. That evening in the vacant lot just behind Stella's house, music drifted high over the city and the grass was danced flat around a bus called Heaven. As a full moon rose, three snails slid safely back under the tires, and tomorrow Stella will see the sparrow chicks fly for the first time. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story, fabulous first graders. Okay, go answer your questions in your seesaw activity. Bye for now.